Okay, we also read some uh, redneck experimenting. This jewel, uh, the batteries are totally shagged on it. None of the batteries, even a new spare we got, they don't even hold a charge. Plus the switching is just starting to smack more like buggery, so I decided to cut the motor off using the PWM circuit. And what do you know, I can uh, very crudely run a flyback. I'll set the tripod up there, you can see it in action. Okay, if you also set this uh, little thing here up, we can start doing some arcing. Get that battery off. Now um, that's on, I just gotta squeeze the trigger. I can't, there we go, I can see the screen better now. Obviously you press it all the way in, it applies full power to the motor, so I won't be doing that, we'll just be varying it. This uh, set up the jewels running off my uh, 100 amp 12 volt power supply. Oh, got small the ozone. And um, I put a, oops, I put a, uh, I put a bigger heat sink on the uh, PWM transistor there, so that doesn't get so hot. It's one of the only mods I've done other than that, and just uh, took the motor out of the circuit to take less, uh, so it's less stress on the uh, whole complete setup here. It's made for 18 volts, so these these batteries are. I don't know how much current they got, but they're a hell of a lot of current in there. 1.3 amp hour. They don't even bloody charge anymore. They're just crappy batteries. So I could use this to, um, into a circuit, maybe switch an RGBT or something like that, and tune it to get higher frequency. The trigger, we can adjust the trigger to the right, uh, to get the right frequency. And the, um, RGBT will just amplify this for more power. There you go, a redneck PWM flyback driver. I mean, truly redneck. But I'm just using the uh, existing internal primary coil, a uh, primary winding in the flyback, not the feedback. Because the feedback, you won't, you won't, you'll notice you won't get as much output on it. So the primary, um, just what gives you the most output. Zoom into that, little tiny sparks. Turn that around a bit, adjust the camera so I can see better. Yeah, yeah the transistor's getting a bit warm. Flyback's fairly warm. My uh, little jumper leads are getting quite warm. Yeah, there's little jumper leads I'm using up, uh, rated for the current. Oops. Yeah. You gotta monitor the temperature of this transistor though. She doesn't like, uh, yeah, she don't like it too much. Whatever the resistance to the motor is, is what the, um, that's set to. This is obviously dropping something a lot uh, heavier than that. So gotta give it a chance to cool down before it pops. But as I said, that's the most crudest, the most redneck way you could drive a flyback, just for testing purposes. Discharge that, safety first.